Hey, Jim Bergman with Measure Quick. I wanted to show you a little bit today. A lot of people ask how to get to Premiere features, and I thought I'd do a little video just to show you how that's done. So what you may not realize is that everybody has a Measure Quick cloud account. And uh, on the cloud side, you can do things like look at your projects, you can do your test tracker, you can do remote data streaming. This is where you store your reports. And this is also where you manage your uh, qubits. So in this case here, you scroll down to see the button that says Manage Qubits. So we'll manage the qubits, and we'll tap on that. And then it's going to ask you for your email address and your password. And so I just ha typed those in there. Now, the first time you come in, you're going to have to set up some billing information. So you see there's no qubits on this account. Um, the auto reload's not figured out here. This is where you fill out your billing information. And uh, so we'll go ahead and put some information in here. And... Uh, And this billing information is um, so we can uh, basically load the qubits on your account. And so, and we're just going to put in a fictitious number here. I'll just put in mine. We'll go ahead and save that. All right, so now once you have a credit card uh, successfully set up, now you can go ahead and you can put in either a straight qubit purchase or you can set up auto reload. And auto reload is probably the best way to set your account up. And what this will do is just automatically reload when your qubit account drops below five qubits. And depending on your frequency, you can set it up for whatever um, you know, number of charges you want to have on there. It ties into your uh, billing information. Again, this is where you enter in your uh, cardholder name. This is already set up, so we don't have to do anything else there. And we just put our selection in, hit save, and boom, you're all set to go. All right, so now that we've got qubits loaded on our account, I want to show you where really you get the most value out of Measure Quick, and that is in the vital score, right? So... We have a system set up out there in the shop, and uh, I've got a standard set of probes on it. We'll just go to the grid view here for just a minute. But you can see it's showing us our high and low pressures, our superheat and subcooling, right? It'd be a, a little bit complicated, you know, for a technician at a glance to figure out what's wrong. But obviously with our diagnostics, we have it already figured out and measure quick. So let's show how we communicate this problem to a customer. So back at the home screen here, we are going to start a project. And... There's two types of projects. If, if you have not done a project to measure quick before, a guided workflow will walk you step by step through the process to make sure you get a vitals report, make sure you get a full pro report out of it. Once you have some experience, you'll probably want to use a standard cooling project, which allows you to just go through at your own pace um, without having to uh, do the steps all of the guided workflow. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a standard AC heat pump commissioning. I'm going to create a new site, and you have, we have sites and we have equipment. So the site is the building you're at, and the equipment can be multiple pieces of equipment at the same site. I'm going to go ahead and create that, and then you're going to see it's going to come up that I can unlock my Premier features. Now, again, this is where you get access to the vital score. You get access to the unlimited remote data streaming for tech support, unlimited projects for the year for that $5, right? You can do uh, quarterly inspections if you want to. And we store the benchmark, allow you to customize it, etc. right? So I'll go ahead and unlock this, and I'm going to unlock for five qubits. And then it's going to uh, basically tell me it's waiting for a filter size and give me some diagnostics. But at this point, uh, you know, in the time it took the system to stabilize, right? So literally the probes to stabilize here it took a couple of minutes for them to stabilize. Uh, I have my full cooling diagnostic, and now I can generate uh, a report to help convey this issues to the customer. So you can see our system scoring at a 48%. So, you know, the story here is Mrs. Jones we deployed the probes on your system. We ran a scan. Uh, right now, your system is at a 48%. Looks like we might have a problem with the refrigerant charge. Um, we have a problem with the uh, heat transfer. Our condenser approach is high, meaning your condenser is probably dirty. We have, have a temperature split issue. And you can see down here at the bottom here all these things that uh, Measure Quick is picking up. So we have low sensible capacity, probably a dirty evaporator coil. We have low airflow, high static pressure. Um, we may have some other problems there. So it's telling us some of these are potential. Some of them are definitive. But now the technician can communicate to the system. We can make the repairs, rescore the system, and Mrs. Jones will be happy. So this is like probably one of the most powerful features, I think, in the whole product. And if you're not using this, worth every penny. So give it a shot and let us know what you think.